morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. Thank you so much. Happy Resurrection Sunday. It is a pleasure to be with you today. We know that God got up. Yes, we're celebrating Easter and it is a time for celebrations and Easter egg hunts and, and all the festivities that go along with celebrating Easter. Uh, but we're celebrating the resurrection because on Friday, the Lord allowed himself to be crucified. And we thank him because based on what we believe, he got up, hallelujah. Just want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Kiki Singletary-Williams, and it is my pleasure to be with you today. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. We thank God uh, because without him, we are nothing. We appreciate him for his, his love towards us all. We want you to know that you are definitely in our prayers. We have to give thanks and honor to where thanks and honor is due, and all the credit goes to our God. Hallelujah. How great is our God. He has done marvelous things. Hallelujah. He's kept us in the midst of a pandemic. He spared us. Even though folks had plans for today, they've gone on into judgment. But you and I, are we are here, and we owe God a praise for that. Hallelujah. A simple thank you is all he requires. A simple, Lord, we appreciate you, makes all the difference. And so today I want to let you know that at Car Key Global, you have a friend at Car Key Global. We are praying with you, for you, that God will intercede and show his miraculous works through this time. You know, I want you guys to understand that uh, we overcome by the words of our testimonies. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing when our young men and our young people have the desire to want to even just give God the praise, to thank him for something, hallelujah, just to have a praise on their heart and, in, and on their lips is just outstanding. So at this time, uh, we're gonna have a testimony from none other than Brother Sidney Finch. Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter Sunday. Uh, I'd like to thank God for waking me up this morning, protecting my family throughout this pandemic, uh, making sure everybody is stably, financially stable. And yeah, I thank him for putting food in my stomach. And praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you so much for joining Carkey Global Inc. Ministries this resurrection weekend, Sunday morning. And it has been a marvelous and wonderful week during this blessed time. He has risen. I'm going to go to Isaiah 29. Now let's go to uh, 28. Isaiah. Hearken to my voice. Give ye ear and hear my voice, hearken and hear my speech. Do the plowman plow all day to sow. Don't he open and break the cards of his ground. When he have made plan the face thereof, do he not cast <coughs> abroad the finches and scatter the common and cast in this principal wheat and appointed barley and the rye in their place. For his God do instruct him to desecrate and do teach him. For the finches are not threshed with a threshing instrument, neither is a cartwheel turned about upon the common, but the finches are beaten out with a staff and the coming with a rod. The corn is brushed because he will not ever be threshing it, nor break it with the wheel of his cart, nor brush it with his horsemen. This also cometh forth from the Lord of hosts. 
which is wondering in council, which is wonderful in council and excellent in working. I've read to you Isaiah 28, 23rd verse through the 29th. Let the Lord have a blessing to the hearer and the reader of his word. <clears throat> Pardon me. I want to go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, we just wait. We say thank you, Lord, for this awesome, awesome day. We thank you for being a mindful God. We thank you, Lord, for teaching us the way to go, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sharing those, oh Lord, um, and, and taking care of those who are sick and shut in and bereavement family, oh Lord. Go into the hospital, oh Lord, and bless those that are sick, oh Lord. Heal them that they may be able to get up and walk. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for being a mighty God that you are awesome in your mighty works. I want to say thank you, Lord, for caring and taking care and watching out for those standing in need of prayer, Lord, for the homeless, for the sick, for those that need food, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the road that you are paving for our next destiny, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, for just being an awesome God that you are, oh Lord. Family members, our loved ones, our kids, oh Father, touch those that are Standing in need of prayer, oh Lord, during this pandemic, oh Father, bless us, bless our family, oh Lord, that we may go be able to go forth and enjoy another year, oh Lord, in God, Father. Thank you for blessing the sick and those that are afflicted, those that are bereaved. Again, Father, we just say, go to them and eat your son, Lord, and comfort them, oh Father. Touch those that are laying on the sick bed, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for just touching us, oh Lord, in a mighty way, oh Lord. We know that you are able, and we know that you will, Father. I want to thank you for my, my family members, oh Lord, my beautiful wife, oh Father. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing us to go forth, oh Lord, with this ministry, oh Lord, feeding those and helping those that stand in the need, oh Lord. We thank you, we honor you, we adore you, oh Lord. We love you for what you're doing for our ministry, oh Lord, that we may be able to help those, oh Lord. These and all are blessing us in Jesus' name. Through grace we pray, amen. And at this time, without further ado, we're going to bring to you Dr. Kiki Michelle, Secretary of William, in her very own way, what the Lord has shared with her. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. And I do want to thank God for another anniversary. Brother Carlisle and I have celebrated another anniversary this week. And I yeah. thank God is nobody but God. And, and I want to tell him thank you for all of the beautiful accolades and those who have sent us gifts and yeah. um, surprises and oh, calls and messages and cards. Thank you so much. May God continue to bless you and what you do. Because uh, we do know that God honors marriage. So I won't hold you too long today. Uh, we do know it's Resurrection Sunday. Um, I want to invite your attention to Matthew chapter 28. And I want to focus on verse 6, but I'd also like to just um, read verse 5 as well. Um, verse 5 says, And the angel answered and said unto the woman, to the women, Fear not ye. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. And if I could use for a brief subject, it would be crucified to rise. Crucified to rise. Um, we all know the story of the crucifixion. Um, while I'll make no assumptions, I'll briefly say that um, the Lord, seeing sinful flesh man dying without a hope, decided to place himself in sinful flesh and he walked the earth as Jesus. Imagine that. He allowed himself to be born of a woman, a virgin Mary, 
allowed her to never have sexual relationships with anybody. And he put his seed in her womb and she brought forth a son and they called his name Jesus. And there was nobody who was willing to take her in, her or her um, husband, because it was a shame for her to even be pregnant. So the Lord allowed this story to be a reality because he knew at the end of the day, no matter what he had to go through, through his, his life of, of doing miracles and being ostracized and criticized and, and accused and, and, and just uh, rejected, he knew at the end of the day, his goal was to be wrapped in filthy flesh so that he can be our sacrifice, so that he could one day be crucified on the cross because it was by the shedding of blood. There cannot be any remission of sins unless there is a shedding of blood. And, and why would we continue to slaughter animals as a sacrifice? God said, I am the lamb. I'm going to prepare myself the ultimate sacrifice so that you all don't have to sacrifice. Hallelujah. And some of these industries, you have people saying, okay, well, who are we going to sacrifice next? They'll, they'll put their daddy up and their mama up and their great grandma and their kids. And, and, and they're trying to quote unquote prove that they're ready for the next level. But God's saying, you don't have to involve yourself in such because I am the ultimate sacrifice. God said, I've been this. I've already went to the cross and I've already shed my blood. There doesn't need to be any other sacrifice. Hallelujah. And, and so with the whole story of, of the crucifixion, uh, you want to think that you were persecuted. <laughs> you want to think that you've been going through. You want to think that your life has been so hard. You want to think that, that things have been so bad for you? Imagine uh, the Lord himself being uh, ostracized and, and spit on and kicked and, and chased and threatened and beaten by the very mortals that he had created. Just let that sink in for a minute. He created man, and then man is what turned on him to actually treat him the way he was treated prior to the crucifixion. So he allowed them to uh, make a, a, a fool of themselves and saying that he is not the son of God. You're not God. You're not who you say you are. You're doing miracles. You know, they, 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 they made him look like he was crazy. They tried to make him appear that he was off his rocker and he was insane. But because he knew of the divine plan. He endured the pain of the cross. Some of us can barely lift 10 pounds for any time. He carried that huge rugged cross up Calvary while he was being beaten, while he had a, a crown of thorns on his head, while they were kicking him down and, and, and under the weight and the heat and the pressure of carrying that cross, he was still get up. He got up because he knew that his job was to be our sacrifice. Hallelujah. And remember, my subject today is crucified to rise. Uh, and see, God allowed man to think that they were getting over on him. And because they wanted, they felt jealous of him. They felt um, uh, betrayed by him to think that he thought he was the son of God. But he was the son of God. God. And I want to tell you today, if there are situations where people want you to try to prove who you are, you don't have to go to great lengths to prove who you are. Let your record prove who you are. Let your, your um, character distinguish you from other people. God said, uh, I allowed this to happen. I allowed the crucifixion. I allowed them to hang me on the cross. I allowed them to pierce me in the side. Can you imagine them taking these spears, these big spears and just poking him in his side until blood and water ran out of his side? Can you imagine him going through what he allowed to happen to him just for us? Hallelujah. Tell somebody just for me. Hallelujah. Just for me. God did this just for me. Hallelujah. And so 
uh, and not to uh, be the bearer of bad news, but Easter has nothing to do with a, a, a Easter bunny, hallelujah. It has nothing to do with eggs and it has nothing to do with Easter egg hunts and, and frolics and, and special clothes and, and special dinners and, and dressing up and, and that's all well and good. But the real meaning of Easter is the God of the resurrection Sunday is the God got up, hallelujah. On Friday, we call that Good Friday. But I tell you, it wasn't really good because because God allowed himself to be hung and bled and died on, on Good Friday. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Wow. He was deceased. He went down into the belly of hell and grabbed the keys from the enemy. He grabbed your keys. <laughs> he grabbed my keys. He, he, he grabbed lost souls from the enemy. And anything that was lost, God restored in his resurrection. Tell somebody today, God got up. I, I'm, I'm alive today because God rose. Hallelujah. We say that he's risen. We say that he rose. We say that he's coming back again. But we got to always understand there was a process that's getting us to that great day. Hallelujah. We cannot be saved, hallelujah, unless there is the shedding of blood, hallelujah. That is why it's so important that we understand the concept of baptism. Baptism in water gives you an answer to a clean conscience, and it is the same as being blood washed by the blood of the lamb, hallelujah. And, and so uh, getting back to, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, he, he allowed himself to be humiliated and mistreated and misused because he had a plan. Hallelujah. Because God had a plan. <laughs> because God had you and I in that plan, he allowed it. Hallelujah. Uh, ask yourself, what are you allowing to happen in your life so God can get the glory? Hallelujah. What are you enduring? What are you willing to endure so that God can get the glory? Hallelujah. And see, uh, he was he was uh, putting so, so many issues because he uh, he was lied on. Any miracle he did, he had to give an account for it. Um, any person that was healed, they want to draw him in and ask him, what is it that you've done? Anything that he did to put forth a good forth effort in the life of people around him, he had to give an account for it. And so please understand that just because you're on the Lord's side, understand that you're not necessarily going to be without struggle, without pain, without accusations, without um, hurt. That is the world we live in. But the consolation that we have is that because we are on the Lord's side, We'll go through, but we go through in grace. Hallelujah. We go through with mercy. Hallelujah. And so with um, God allowing himself to be crucified by the ones that he loved, understand for someone to endure every atrocity that he endured in walking this earth, he allowed that to happen for you and for I. Just think about it. He allowed the enemy to buffet him because he knew greater was behind what he was going through. Greater is behind what you've gone through. So I, I started off by asking you, so you think you've been persecuted, huh? Uh, we have to understand that our Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous but our Lord delivers us of them all. We have to understand that uh, we are not our own. And while we are going through this world, we have a, a savior who walks with us, who talks with us. You don't have to make a big scene and get down and yelling and then screaming in the middle of the shopping center. You can just say Jesus to yourself, hallelujah. And you command God's attention and he attends to your beck and call. That's the kind of relationship we have. God is, he said, I'm omnipresent. Even if you're over in Alaska somewhere and we're down in Atlanta, hallelujah. God is the same God that is there helping you fight your battle while he's here helping me fight mine, hallelujah. And so what we have to understand is that what you've gone through 
was only designed to help you to rise. Hallelujah. Understand, just as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ allowed himself to be crucified, to be murdered, to be killed, just so that he could give us access, hallelujah, access to the tree of life. He was crucified to rise. Understand that what it is that you've been going through, the persecution that you've been going through, the problems, the misunderstandings, the pain, the loss, the, mis the, the um, misrepresentation, all of that was allowed to happen so that you can arise. Hallelujah. The, the gift of God that is on your life can't stay in the place that you were comfortable in. Hallelujah. The gift of God that is on your life doesn't fit where you were. Hallelujah. So the Lord had to allow things to happen so that you can level up. Hallelujah. He said, I allow you to be persecuted and to go through so that I can help you to rise. Hallelujah. I allow you, God said, it is your time to level up. It is your time to rise. It is your time to be what God has called you for. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. When God has placed his hand on you, God said, it's your time. Hallelujah. So you were crucified. You were mistreated. You were scandalized. You were skipped. You, you were just, um, just gone through with so many things in your life. If you think about it, understand you went through that so that you can rise. God said, not only did I rise and I'm, I've resurrected, but I've resurrected every dead thing in your life. Hallelujah. Everything that you thought, those dreams and those, those goals that you had in your life, and you thought they would never come to fruition. God said, I've resurrected. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rise. God said, I put you in a position right now. Hallelujah. Such that if you see it and you say it, you will see it. You got to catch it in your spirit. If you see it in your mind's eye and you say it with your mouth, it will materialize in your environment. God said, I placed you in this situation to allow you to rise. Had you not gone through what you went through, you would have never had the courage to move on. You would have never been so eager to listen and hear from God. You would have never been in a, in a, in a way that God can use you, hallelujah. You wouldn't have been praying. You wouldn't have been fasting. You wouldn't have been sacrificing. God said, I have resurrected you, hallelujah. I don't care how long it's been, since you've done what you used to do, hallelujah, for the Lord. God said, I've resurrected you, hallelujah. And the thing I like about it is he said, I bring you back better, hallelujah. God doesn't have to do anything. He's not going to restore you to what used to be back in the 80s. God said, I'm restoring you and I'm replenishing you and I'm blessing you in modern day times, hallelujah. God said, the, the time that I was gone during the crucifixion, I was, I was stirring up some things. I was, I was canceling out some plots and plans of the enemy. I was moving the, the left to the right. I was making the first, the last, and I was making the last, the first. God said, during the time that I was crucified, hallelujah, I saw you and I, I carried you in my mind many, many, many generations ago. God said, I saw you and I, that's why I didn't get off that cross. Hallelujah. That's why I carried through with the part of my plan from my father because I saw you. Hallelujah. God said, and if I didn't allow this to happen, you would not be here. You would be lost. Hallelujah. He said, because I rose, you now have risen. You've risen. Your level of thinking has changed. Your desires have changed. The access that God has for you has changed. Hallelujah. The doors that were locked and sealed, hallelujah, have now become open for you. Hallelujah. The anointing that you dreamed and wished and prayed for has been restored unto you. Hallelujah. The gifts that have laid dormant in your life, hallelujah, that you are afraid to exercise. You're looking around and wondering what's going on. God said, I've restored you. I'm going to use your gifts. I'm going to use you. I've risen. Hallelujah. The dead spirit.
spiritual life that you've exhibited. God said, say goodbye to it because it's over. Hallelujah. The things that you thought that you couldn't do anymore because of this, that, and the other. God said, I've restored you. You have risen. Hallelujah. Just like we believe that God has risen. He is our Lord and our Savior. You have risen. Hallelujah. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I shall live and not die. Tell yourself I'm going to be healthy. Tell yourself I am healed. Tell yourself I am a child of God. Tell yourself I'm not an addict. Tell yourself, hallelujah. Tell yourself I'm everything that God said I can be. Hallelujah. Crucified to rise. Who would have thought that what you went through would have yielded such results? Hallelujah. People left you for dead. Hallelujah. Your aunt, your, 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 the adversaries left you for dead. They've given themselves a high five. They've attended your funeral in the spiritual realm. God said, not so. Hallelujah. God said, I have already beat back the hands of time. Hallelujah. I've already beat back the hands of death. God said, I said you will live. Every spirit of, of darkness that surrounds you, that is after you, I curse it. I send it back to the pit in the name of Jesus. You are the property of God. You are God's chosen, and you will see the results of your recovery. God said, when you come up, just think about Lazarus. Hallelujah. Think about Lazarus. Hallelujah. When he came forth, nobody had to go in there and, 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 and pull and tug on Lazarus. Hallelujah. God spoke a word. Hallelujah. God spoke a word. Lazarus come forth, hallelujah. You need to tell yourself today, God just said my name and I'm coming forth, hallelujah. When Lazarus came forth, hallelujah, he didn't look like he had been dead, hallelujah. The things that God has resurrected for you in your life today, hallelujah, won't even look out of place, hallelujah. God said, I've given you a double portion of my spirit. I've given you a double portion of the anointing. I have multiplied you and replenished you farther than your own reach. Hallelujah. God said, because I can. <laughs> because you are mine. And, and I decided today was a good day to resurrect you. Hallelujah. Today was a good day. Hallelujah. And back to our, our scripture. Hallelujah. The women. The women actually went to the grave. Hallelujah. Well, there it goes the, the, the uh, lie that women are not supposed to be preachers. Hallelujah. There goes the myth that women don't carry the word. Hallelujah. The angel spoke to the women who went to go see where was Jesus. Hallelujah. Where was he laid? The angel spoke to the women. The women went back and said, oh, he's not here. He's risen. Hallelujah. So let me talk to the women today. Hallelujah. Get up off of your seat or do nothing. Hallelujah. Get up and, and take off your, uh, your, your, uh, your, your dead clothes. Hallelujah. Put on a spirit of praise. Put on a garment of righteousness. Get up and get busy. Hallelujah. God is requiring of you to move it forward. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will have to give an account for sitting because somebody don't think you should stand. Hallelujah. You, by yourself, will have to give an account for sitting because someone else don't think you should stand. God said, get up, hallelujah. Get up, rise. Give God something to, to bless and work with. Give God your best, hallelujah. Get up from sitting down, hallelujah. And so I want you to understand that because he was crucified, you got to understand you're going to go through. But look around. Your friends may look like they got everything going on in life, but stuff they going through too. They're just not telling you. <laughs> Nobody's going to be on social media broadcasting every problem they got unless something is seriously wrong with them. They're only going to broadcast the good stuff. So don't be upset by, oh, they doing this, they doing that. People, everybody's going through. People are going through. But because we are connected to a divine connector through our connection to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are going to be okay. Hallelujah. We've got a blessed assurance that we are victorious. Hallelujah. And I just want to let you know, hallelujah. God said, just like in the verse six, he's not here. It's risen. He's risen. The, the dead things in your life are no more. Hallelujah. 
You can't find what's not there. Hallelujah. You can search and search and search, but until you understand God's word is final, when he said it, he gonna, he's going to do it. Like he revealed it, it's going to come to pass. He said he was going to rise again. If you destroy my body, I will rise again in three days. And he did. Hallelujah. And those things that have been dead and destroyed in your life. Hallelujah. God said, I've risen. Hallelujah. I've risen. I've allowed those things to rise. Hallelujah. I want you to rise. You can't go back to this place of complacency. You can't go back to this place of sitting in the back and just saying, hi, how you doing? God has called you to greatness. Hallelujah. God said, move and move forward. Hallelujah. And I'm going to help you to rise. I've removed the grave clothes off your gift. I've removed the grave clothes off your mind. I've removed every stumbling block that will seek to destroy you. We got to understand a lot of things we're going through are in our mind. Hallelujah. Those people ain't talking about you. The devil telling you they talking about you. Even if they are talking about you, who cares? Get busy. Hallelujah. God said, I was crucified to rise. You have been crucified so that I can rise within you. God said, stand up. Hallelujah. Get up. Hallelujah. One thing I like about God is when he does it, he puts all that stuff in a sea of forgiveness. So ain't no point in you going fishing, hallelujah, looking for, oh, what happened back then or we used to do. God said, I put all that in the sea of forgiveness. I've resurrected your life, hallelujah. When you go back to the doctor, the thing that they were looking for and watching won't be there. Hallelujah, God said, when I do it, I do it well, hallelujah. He's taking away every excuse you may have allowed the enemy to use such that you couldn't get busy. God said, rise. Resurrection has risen in your life. So rise. I sincerely want to thank you for listening today. If you don't know who Jesus is and the pardon of your sins, you've got to understand we all need him. You might not think you need him, but we all need him. Hallelujah. And I would rather have the Lord and not need him than to need them and not have them. Hallelujah. And so the doors of the church are open. If you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sins, you must be baptized in Jesus' name. You've got to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's a promise. Acts 2 38 is true. You've got to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is that great big God who created this universe is living in you. Hallelujah. So if God is in me, certain things I can't do. Hallelujah. Certain places I can't go because I'm carrying the ultimate God in me. Hallelujah. So if you, no matter where you are, we have listeners all across the globe. We thank you for supporting, but understand we have places that can make sure no matter where you are, that you get baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is a promise that is given unto you. I would rather go on and get baptized and have the Holy Ghost and live my life like I'm supposed to and, and, and find out it wasn't, I wasn't required to than to not do it and realize I don't have it and now I'm, I'm going to be lost. Hallelujah. God said, I've come so that you can live. Hallelujah. God wants life for you. Hallelujah. He doesn't want you to be destroyed. He doesn't want you to be uh, sick or deprived or, or, or second or third. God said, I called you to greatness. Greatness demands a response from all of us. Hallelujah. So please do continue to stay prayerful. Understand that God is concerned about you. Don't listen when the, the devil tell you nobody loves you. Ain't nobody here for you. You're on your own. He's a liar. And like we used to say, he lied in his breath thing. Hallelujah. He lied the truth ain't in him. Stay in focus with God. Ask him for discernment and more understanding of his word. Because, ladies and gentlemen, only what we do for Jesus Christ will last. Only what we do for Jesus Christ will last. And it has been my absolute pleasure to stand before you today. I honor God for the word that he's given me. Pray it blesses you. I pray that you're honored and God continues to move in your life. God bless you. No longer grieving, I'm no longer sad
thing that used to make me cry Not so bad, I'm living, I'm rising I'm happy, I'm free Things that used to worry me no longer bother me Because I really can say that I am free I'm living, I'm rising, I'm happy, I'm free In the meantime, do the trials and the tests All I can say is I did my best I'm living, I'm living, I'm happy, I'm free Free to thrive, free to live Just the way I am I'm living, I'm living I'm happy, I'm free Free to thrive, free to live Just the way I am V, 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 it's on my chest yeah. I had to remain strong Cause I know I'm the best you Why would they count do nothing less? Had a boss up, you already know I had to fix Now that I'm up, they can't bring me down They laugh at me like I was a clown She hit my phone, so I know I touched down All these clear diamonds, I'm a drown All this cash, I'm walk with a frown My AP two-tone, ends bust down Bend my mom, go hit icebox BS ones, you know they bit rocks Do drip down to the socks I'm the one, she playing on the box I'm living, I'm living Free to thrive, free to live, just the way I am. I'm living, I'm living, I'm happy, I'm free. Free to thrive, free to live, just the way I am. Quantum Talks 8.0, professional counseling, coaching, and wellness. We will help you to sort out the details so that you can get to where you are trying to go. Call us today.